for your host, Doug the Rug Jugney! Pleasures to introduce to all of you the gorgeous ladies of Ormati! Oh, you want to do it with me? <laughs> yeah, I actually do. Okay, great. Get in the 
mindset of being totally hot, which is hard for you, and then think about someone that is a total bitch, which is you, and get pissed. Fuck you, Connie! Alright. <laughs> I'm angry at the patriarchy! <laughs> <laughs> you find my rage inappropriate? <laughs> I feel like you're making fun of me. No, those are things that genuinely make me mad. It's not good enough. Ooh. I don't understand why yours is better. Just because it's personal and directed toward me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real thing I can see. The patriarchy is one thing. But having real, true hate for something that's real? A good motivator. <laughs> this is your face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is the wage gap. Woo! <laughs> To get mad, you should direct your anger towards something that has meaning. This is a waste of time and energy. You know, it's actually not. Because I don't like how you make me feel stupid. I'm not stupid. And you're making fun of me right now, and I don't fucking like it. <laughs> that's not wasted energy. No, that's a valid that's a valid complaint. So fuck you. <laughs> In those ancient times, let me ask you a question. What happens if Odysseus is a woman? It's the exact same story, because it's a quality. <laughs> I'm in. I'm with it. Speaking of quality, here's a woman. Now, question for you. Iowa Jones, you're facing off in the ring against a very rabid competitor. In fact, last time you faced off, there was bloodshed. Doug, I have traversed the jungles of South America. I have canoed down parts of the Nile that none of you will ever see in a lifetime. I can face a silly traitor like Tina Turncoat any day. You put her in front of me, I'll take her down, just like I did that idol in the canyon of the Great Packer. <laughs> Ha! <laughs>
your laugh flashing before your eyes. It's her right <laughs> eye. Just so we all know which eye it is when she shows us. It's her right eye. <laughs> 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 Opposite phrases. Amy's been teaching me about opposite phrases. Oh yeah, what does it mean? It means <laughs> say with me, Annie, that, that you say me the, the opposite, opposite of what of you just me. said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, if I said I don't care about Connie, what does that mean? It means you care deeply about Connie. Not sure in what way but just that there is a deep and general care. Okay, let me ask you a question yeah. and do my lips. You live with her. Well, I sleep next to her in a bed, but... Is what, are you living? sleeping in her bed now? No. <laughs> <laughs> there have been nights when I've cuddled. <laughs> Like, set a bomb off at her feet heavy? Oh my god. Oh my god, what time is it? Yeah, she's in bed. She's asleep. No, that's exactly right. But bring your makeup. Oh my god! Oh, okay. This is what friends do. Yeah, yes. this is great. Annie, watch the baby, okay? Oh, I'm, I'm on it. Is that what the shit song was? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm bringing, like, the whole caboodle. Alright. We'll just show her how little I care about her. Oh my god, you care so little. I love it. You can take it back to your room. All right. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> I see my toes 
I just, I don't know. I just don't think it looks as bad as you think it does. It's garish. <laughs> I look like a turquoise leopard. <laughs> <laughs> We're completely out of toilet paper in here. I think it's just in the third one. Will you grab it? <laughs> Why did she do it, Connie? She Why'd hates she... me. How could anybody hate you? <laughs> Truly. <laughs> <laughs> For one thing, I'm not sure you're paying attention to my personality. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're so direct and you're honest. And you love everybody so much. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your positivity, but I'd like to caution you against using it as a way to obscure reality. Just consider that as you move forward. The second part of my answer to you is that I was unkind to her. You were unkind to her? I was. When? Why? How? She was using my visage as a motivation to exercise, and I found it irritating. Connie, you're using a lot of words that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but she was making fun of you. Yes. Well, that wasn't very nice. And you probably just had your feelings hurt. You think that's what it is? You think it probably just hurt your feelings that such a good friend like Karen would say something mean about you or make you feel small. Now that, that would hurt you. <laughs> Connie, what you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> Connie, say something to me. I think. <laughs> I think my feelings were hurt. Of course they were. Don't get closer to me. <laughs> That's a they were. My feelings were hurt. <laughs> oh. oh, Connie, can Don't I? Don't approach me. <laughs> Hand me a paper towel. <laughs> Connie. Connie. I'm so sorry your feelings were hurt, Connie. I am also sorry my feelings were hurt. <laughs> <laughs>
and sinful nature over here, how can you compete with such a force? I am not worried at all, Doug, because as we all know, tomorrow is a special day in the time and life of Jesus Christ. And just like Jesus Christ, I will rise up today and take down the two of those like they're the pieces of dirt that they are for me.
is she? Oh, fine. Fine. She's been good for two days. <laughs> <laughs> Connie didn't want to come out. Fuck Connie. Oh my god, I have to know. What is there to know? We all know that I don't like her. But why? Because she's stupid. That is the opposite of truth. She uses all sorts of big words I've never heard of before. She said visage and oligarchy. She's constantly talking about us. She's very smart. If anything, she's the smartest one out of all of us. Yeah, and that's my fucking problem with her. Holy shit, those are mine. I don't care. You know, if she's so fucking smart, she shouldn't be here. This is for hardworking people who had no other choice in their life. You think I want to do this? I had no other choice. I couldn't continue to strip. And she fucking <laughs> in my face every now and then that she has a B.A. I don't even know what a fucking B.A. is. I know this one. What is it? It's a bachelor. I'll show her a fucking bachelor. <laughs> Karen, a lot of us want to be here. I want to be here. Yeah, I want to be here. And because you guys need to be and have no other choice. She can do whatever she wants and she rubs it in our face. I have a lot of choices. All right? My daddy owns McDonald's. <laughs> what? I have a lot of choices. I could have got married to Warren. But did I? No. Because I wanted to be a glam girl. <laughs> that Connie has been crying secretly at the coin slot machine in the lobby. She covers up her crying sounds by dropping coins in. <laughs> oh, Annie, you don't understand social it's cues. Like, How would you know like she's this. crying? It goes like this. Ka-ching. <laughs> and then she waits for a little minute, you know, like very stolid. That's a Connie word. And then she does it again. <laughs> I have to bring your baby everywhere. Can I please take my baby? Oh, yeah, of course. Do you want me to hold it? Yes. What? You're done. In the pool? I'm yeah. going to be outside of the pool. And why am I done? You know, I don't expect all of you guys to, like, get what I've been through. But you can understand objectively that she thinks she's better than all of us. And I'm the only one with the fucking steel balls enough to tell her. And if you guys don't get that, that's fine. It's not like I'm here to make friends. But she's not your friend. And I'm the closest thing you have to a friend. Okay? So you might as well be nice to me. Karen. Was that an opposite phrase? Uh, yeah, totally. Can you just get that? Because I don't know what to do with oh, it. Oh, yeah, of course. Very... And you're in the pool. Oh, so maybe. Hey, baby, smarter, you're all wet. <laughs> <laughs>
not my usual way of entering an abode. That's a Connie word. <laughs> I don't know how to open windows from the outside. Okay, this is a problem. <laughs> Like shit. I don't want to treat you like shit. I just want to talk to you. You're my friend. You just said it. I'm your friend. You're my friend. Just let me fucking in and talk to you. You're talking to me right now. Okay, fine. I'll talk to you right here. You're not talking. <laughs> Fuck. Can you do my right side? Yes. <laughs> Anybody is better. I just want you to do my right side and then you can leave. No. Do you really think that you can solve this? Like you have enough training from being a socialite millionaire to handle a problem that someone who didn't hardly know her oh mother. God, would you stop with all of that? <laughs> with what? Tragic backstory. You get out tragic backstory every single fucking girl here, okay? It's not like I use it. Oh um, my, think you do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about you? Oh my God, life was so hard because my daddy just gave me everything. He didn't understand what I wanted to be. And I have a limo driver and a bodyguard. And did I mention I lost my virginity when I was 13? It's really shitty to be you, right? It's more shitty to be you. Right. <laughs> yeah, so you have it the shittiest. Yes, I do. Thank you for finally saying it. Great. Good job, Glampian. <laughs> do not bring my title belt into <laughs> this. Where the fuck is it? I don't, I hide it so none of you bitches can fucking yeah, take it fucking from me. You find it. You are not going to find it. shove it in your fucking face, you fucking Glampian. And I'll rip your wig off. Poor <laughs> you. Oh, oh, I'll get my dirty nail polish fingers fuck over your fucking face. Fuck I fucking you. once, I'll do it again. Don't, I will. You win. You already won the fucking game. You're the saddest. So then what's the point? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> that is a fucking Connie Howard knock. <laughs> We've already established that Karen has the most tragic backstory of all of us. You had to discuss that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know something funny about Connie Howard? Mm, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say something to you. Please don't interrupt me. It's uncomfortable. Tiffany explained this to me, and this is what I'm supposed to say. When we were in the gym the other day, you made me feel bad. You hurt my feelings, and the sadness grew to rage, and I unfairly attacked you back when I should have just asked you what was wrong. <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> that was really hard for you. use hormones as an excuse, can I? I don't like feeling like people think less of me because 
it's not like I'm that great of a person in general. So when someone reflects back at me what I truly am, I don't like it. I'm going to move in a few steps if you would watch me. <laughs> <laughs> sit here. That's inoffensive. <laughs> like, like, who talks like you? I do, except it's, it. <laughs> I it's really annoying. Let me try to speak to you. That's exactly the point you're making. <laughs> Let me tell you what I see. I don't, I don't, I already know, how, but I already know how you feel about it. Let me tell you what I, know you don't, because I don't ever say what I think. You, you don't need to say it. it upon me. You look at me and you say, this must be what you're thinking based on the complete lack of expression on your face. I am your canvas of anger, and I so would like to So this is your problem now? I don't understand. I know exactly what you think of me, that I'm some... No, you don't. I think that you're okay, a very wow brave me. person makes a lot of bold moves on behalf of your child. I really think it's wonderful that you um, decided to keep your baby and raise it in a way that meant something to you as opposed to the way you were raised. I think that you got a fantastic job. This is, a, this is terrific. This is a great place to be. I really like it here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think you're very good at what you do. And this is exactly where you should be. The only thing that I don't like about you is your attitude. This is so hard. Okay, I'm coming closer. Please don't. <laughs> this is good. Aww. It just motivates me to look at your face and want to punch it. I'm sorry. <laughs> people facing off who really bring the thunder. I hope you like fireworks because we're about to see two Roman candles drenched in passion and armed with vendettas. Iowa Joe! Tina Turncoat, the last time you faced off, you traded blows as well as anger. That's now, what's right. going to happen here? Well, you know, any good patriot will defend their nation. Am I right, Doug? You're right about any that. Any good American patriot will defend the United States of America against a Turncoat like that. She's stupid. She makes no sense. Oh, She's dumb. Get in the ring, Tina Turncoat.
here on Saturdays at 10.30. Well, we'd like to sing for you. What? what? Oh, yeah. We'd like to sing for you. Yeah. Yeah.